Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. In the field of hydropower development, China can now definitely rank the first in the world. Recently, China has successfully overcome four major world class problems and built a brand new hydropower station with stones. It is the Lianghaku Hydropower Station. It is the highest hydropower station in the world, with 50 meters higher than the Hoover Dam in the United States. Besides, it is also the largest earthrock dam in the world. The total filling volume of the dam of the hydropower station is as high as 41.6 million cubic meters, which is converted into a wall of one square meter, totally enough a circle of earth, creating a miracle of world infrastructure again. In addition, the hydropower station is expected to generate an average annual power generation of 1.1062 billion kilowatt hours, its annual power generation is enough for the use of a total of more than 4 million households. But do you know that this 66.4 billion construction is actually made of stones? Why is that and why did China build dams on the plateau? What problems did they encounter during the construction process? Okay, that is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Lianghaku Hydropower Station is China's largest project in Tibetan areas, and it is also the highest earthrock dam in China. Many people may be unfamiliar with this kind of dam. After all, the mainstream dams in China are reinforced concrete dams, such as the Three Gorges Dam. A large amount of concrete was used to pour the dam body, and the dam built with mud and rocks, except for the material restrictions in ancient times, will choose to use this dam construction technology. In the 21st century, why does China still need to build such an obviously outdated dam wool and cloth? The main reason for choosing an earthrock dam is that the construction site of the dam is located in the southwest of China, and the traffic here is extremely inconvenient. If reinforced concrete is used as the main material for the construction of the dam, the transportation cost required is too expensive, so the Chinese construction personnel chose the materials are collected locally, and the rocks and soil that can be seen everywhere are used as the main material of the dam. In order to prevent the water from flowing out through the cracks in the rocks after the dam is built, the construction personnel also laid a very thick clay layer, and the outside of the dam body will be poured. Like the Hoover Dam, the two estuary dams are gravity dams, relying on their own weight to resist water pressure. However, to withstand 10.7 billion cubic meters of river water, it also withstands water pressure equivalent to the thrust of 30,000 bulldozers. The construction of estuary dams has put forward unprecedentedly high demands. The Baihetan Hydropower Station and Wudong Hydropower Station built by China on the Jinsha River are all made of cement concrete, and the center of the Lianghaku Hydropower Station is filled with highly impermeable soil, which is a key part of the dam. Of course, these stones are strictly screened, especially the stones used in the dam, the compressive strength must be greater than 45 MPa, and the size must not exceed 80 centimeters, which shows how strict the requirements are. Since the earthrock method is adopted, the raw materials used are naturally mined by on-site blasting. This also puts forward high requirements for blasting. It is estimated that nearly 20,000 tons of explosives will be used to fill the entire earthrock dam, and its power is equivalent to the amount of half an atomic bomb. And such a complex dam project needs to be blasted a full 50,000 times to complete all the sand and gravel mining, which shows how difficult the construction is. At the same time, in order to ensure the basic safety of the dam, more than 1,000 layers of sand should be laid under the dam, and each layer must be rolled and reinforced with a roller compactor. It is reported that the total filling volume of the dam is about 43 million square meters, which is one of the projects with the largest filling volume in China. It would take more than one circle around the earth, 
and to crush these sand mounds, each roller would have to circle the earth at least six times. How difficult it is to build, it is equivalent to a rolling surface the size of three football fields, and it is difficult to monitor the compactness of the sand with the naked eye. Those who are familiar with the terrain of China know that the Sichuan Tibet region is full of high mountains, the terrain is undulating, and the average altitude is about 3,000 meters. The Lianghaku Hydropower Station, located on the main stream of the Yalong River in Yajiang County, Ganzi Prefecture, Sichuan Province, is a controlled hydropower station in the middle and lower reaches of the Yalong River. Okay, the mountains on its both sides are already covered with a very complex pipe network system, so this dam project is comparable to the most complex dam in the world, and has a great impact on China's infrastructure. In order to reduce the labor intensity of workers and operators, and also to improve the construction efficiency of the dam, the engineers designed an intelligent management method which uses satellite positioning systems and automatic driving to track the implementation of each roller compactor. If any abnormality is found, it will be timely fed back through the walkie-talkie. The crushed sand and gravel pile must be tested by the quality inspection engineer. It relies on the Beidou satellite to locate the working conditions of each roller compactor in real time and accurately guide each automatic driving roller compactor. After the work of the roller compactor is completed, the on-site engineers are required to conduct accurate rolling results detection, and then through the data comparison of the Beidou satellite, the flatness and compactness of the crushed stone can be controlled at the centimeter level to ensure the quality of the two estuary dams. It is worth mentioning that the Lianghaku Hydropower Station is located at the confluence of two rivers, which is also the origin of its name. After the dam is completed, a huge reservoir area will be formed. In addition to the power generation of hydropower stations, it can also improve the power generation of downstream power stations. It should be known that the power generation of hydropower stations is greatly affected by flow. In the dry season, the power generation will drop significantly. In this context, if the upstream can store if there is enough water energy, in the dry season, the downstream hydropower station can still ensure sufficient power generation. Although China has become the country with the largest power generation in the world, it is still faced with insufficient power resources. Therefore, it is very important to ensure the balanced power generation of hydropower stations throughout the year. After the completion of the Lianghaku hydropower station, it can greatly improve China's energy security and avoid there is a shortage of electricity during the peak period of electricity consumption. At the same time, this hydropower station project is also of great significance for China's infrastructure construction. All in all, in the thousands of years of history of the Chinese nation, there has been no shortage of miracle projects, and these are all derived from the wisdom of the Chinese people and the spirit of never giving up. So how do you feel about the Chinese construction project? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.